Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. Um, it's good to be back. It's been a little while. I want to say thank you to my subscribers for sticking with me, even though my computer's been messing up and I haven't been able to post any videos as of recently. And I want to say thank you to my new subscribers, and I hope you find some entertaining things on my little art channel. If you guys hear some snoring in the background, my pug is sleeping behind me on my chair. <laughs> so... This is me doing a pheasant on this painting. It took me two years and three months to complete this painting. I just recently completed this, and I will say that I am very happy that it's done. And it was a good experience. It was hard at times, frustrating at times, and very rewarding at, in the very end. I think the biggest thing for me was basically saying that I'm going to complete this painting no matter what and that even if I don't feel inspired that day I need to paint anyhow or come up with a design to go on to my painting and that was kind of new for me you know I kind of in the past went on whims and just kind of went with how I felt and I, that wasn't an option with this painting yeah it was a big change like game changer for me um, right here, I'm basically highlighting parts of the feathers that I had etched in. And I, I go back and forth with lighter colors and darker colors. Like right here, I'm putting in white. And then I'll go back over with color, two to three different colors. Sometimes four if I want to get more of a depth in it. This is the first painting that I ever did feathers. And so it was a little pretty big learning experience for me and I think the the fun thing about the pheasant and the most frustrating part about it is that it has so many different types of feathers and textures and you have to kind of learn how to get that feeling with every single feather that is on this bird and it's quite unique. I also wiped out a section that I had placed in. I talked to a lot of people that do art and I guess they're just starting out, and it freaks them out to mess up. But as long as you keep your paint pretty thin, and you don't put a lot of texture on your canvas or your paper, you could go back in and redo almost any part of your painting. And I know that's kind of like, oh, well, I did all that work. But the, if the anatomy is not right, it could actually ruin your painting. Um, unless you're going for abstract, <laughs> but I guess my suggestion is if this is new to you and you want to practice being able to take parts of your painting out and repaint it, work on paintings for a little while that you know, you're not so emotionally attached to, to practice. That way then whenever you are working on a piece that you're really devoted to, it won't be so shocking or frightening to go ahead and remodel whatever you were painting in the first place. Hopefully I put that in the way that everybody could understand. But as you can see on this painting, I actually went back and painted over quite a bit multiple different times to get the feel that I was going for. And, you know, I was pretty happy with the way that this pheasant turned out. And I will say I had a lot of very frustrating points in time where I just felt like it wasn't coming together and it wasn't looking right but stuck with it and eventually I, I was pretty happy with the results. I think the hardest part for me was right under the white collar they have these feathers that they're basically have a W like shape at the bottom and it just it, it was kind of hard to get them in properly and I wanted it to look like there was movement in it because you know, birds aren't stagnant. They're always kind of moving and they have like certain ticks to them. And I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. But ask me 10 years from now, maybe I'll have a different opinion. <laughs> we'll see. As a learning experience with this painting, I was, I was very thrilled with the way that everything was completed and ended. And I think it was because I just wasn't compromising. If I didn't like something, I just went ahead and completely wiped it out and started over from scratch. It was painstaking, but in the end, I'm 
I'm very proud of this painting and I'm very happy with the way it turned out and I think it was because I was kind of I guess rough on myself to basically finish everything to my personal best granted I, I know that there's a lot of improvement that I could do in the future but I think that's everybody I think it doesn't matter if you've been doing it for five years ten years a hundred years <laughs> you know you could always find some new technique or some way that you can improve your work so I just say paint enjoy the experience and I, I just I try to pick up new things learn new things and I think it it definitely has helped. I've been painting since I've been in diapers and I could definitely say that I've, I'm still learning. And there's different levels that I would like to get to with my own art. I just, I don't think that there's ever a point where you ever stop learning. Here I am putting in the last couple pieces of the feathers. Um, I did the tail separately and I'm going to put some finishing pictures up here as well. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully it won't be so long before I do another painting or project for you guys. And I hope everybody's safe and doing well. Until next time. And thank you for watching.